Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, it's Carla Nicole. I hope everybody's doing well this beautiful Monday morning. I hope everybody's doing well. So, I wanted to talk about something today because I'm in a group where a woman made a comment about being in a relationship and feels as though in her relationship she has settled um, for the partner she chose. Okay, so she feels as though, peace Cheryl, she feels as though she settled for the mate she's with. And um, so currently I've just really been thinking about um, this word that we constantly use. I hear it all the time in all different groups I'm in. I've settled for this person. I can't believe I settled for this person. I'm really agitated by the person I settled for and I don't want to waste my time on this person and so on and so forth. But you know for me I'm always going to stretch your mind a little bit. Okay, I want you to stretch your mind out of thinking that someone is in your life based upon um, you not having anything to do with it. <laughs> okay. So, um, basically the scenario was this woman is very affluent. She has her own career. She has her own job. She has her own place, so on and so forth. And what happened is she connected with a man that still lives at home with his mom. He's really not motivated to do what he needs to do to advance himself in his life. And now she's feeling frustrated and feels as though she settled with this man for whatever reason. So what I try to um, explain to her, because I think it's important that we don't get so high on the totem pole that we believe that just because we have things, we've accomplished things, we have made advances in our life and all these things that we begin to look our no look down our nose at our lovers or at other people because we've accomplished certain things, degrees, positions, careers, whatever. So I wanted to humble her a little bit. Okay, that's what I do. I mean, as a coach, I'm not going to always pamper you and make you feel wonderful because you've done all these accomplishments. Listen, honey, you're still human, just like he's human. Truth of the matter is, like I said in my, you know, response to her being, a, you know, really aggravated by the fact that she has settled for a man, I explained to her this. When you first met this man, be it whenever that was, I don't know her life cycle or his life cycle, but what I explained to her is this. When you met this man in the very beginning of the relationship, you uh, apparently saw potential in him. Remember I talked about potential not too long ago. You apparently have has had found potential. You actually meshed. You guys talked about some things. And you felt at that time that he matched what you were trying to do. Regardless of if he lived at home with his mama or he doesn't have a, you know, he's not really on his grind about whatever. At the time you met him, you felt that the man's potential of what he said he was trying to do or what, what you saw in him was a reason why you connected with him in the first place. So let's clean this up. And even when she said in her post as well that she's really desperate, she's 40 years old and doesn't want to be alone and all this other stuff. And I'm like, okay. That's, a, that's, that's another part of this. That's another layer to your decision making. But outside of that, let's look at the original decision you made. You made a choice with a man that had a maybe compromised situation where he was living at home with his mother. He could have been going to school. I don't know the ins and outs of his scenario, but whatever it was, you saw potential in the man to begin with. Okay? So in that in that understanding you decided to then move forward in a relationship now with that said when we are in a relationship when we come into a union with someone or with some somebodies whoever you're with or in a relationship with you both ha are trending into your own personal growth so as you're in a relationship with someone you begin eye to eye but depending on your own personal growth and your own personal decisions and your own personal self-loving, 
you begin to transcend at a higher rate. Sometimes your mate is also growing within themselves. So you guys are growing together. So in that growth of decisions, of making, you know, milestone, meeting milestones and goals and things of that nature, you are already on your trend going upward. And if your mate is also doing the same, you guys are in transition together and you're building upward, right? Now, if you, on the other hand, are a woman of growth and you're moving, you're making decisions, you're building your career, you're doing this, you're doing that, and you're going like this, and your man really isn't moving in his transition into making his own personal growth. Hey, Carolyn, he's not doing his own personal growth. Then guess what? He's, you are in this relationship with him to help cultivate his growth. It's not all about you. Just because you're in a relationship with a man or in a relationship with a, a, a person that you're of interest with, you also are a part of being interdependent. Yes, you have independence in a relationship, but you also have interdependence. So what that means is when your mate is sharing with you, I want to do this. I have a desire to do this. I want to build this. I want to go here. I want to do this. You as a part of the relationship is also as responsible for your own personal growth as you are to get your mate to be accountable for their personal growth. That's a part of this union as well. We don't talk about that part because we spend a lot of time focusing on self and doing what we need to do. Okay, I'm good. I've made my relationship wonderful. Everything's great. So now all I have to focus on is me. No, you're in a relationship now. So you still have a duty and a relationship uh, responsibility for your mate to also help that person to grow into the best higher self of their own. Okay. So I want people to understand this because you make your accomplishments, because you do everything you do. Hey, I look, look, I get my job. I get this. I get that. All of that's wonderful. But a part as a part of having a decision made in your, in your mind that you pick somebody as a partner to build with, you also need to be lighting a fire under them and saying, hey, boo, like uh, we talked about you wanting to do this and do that. I'm not really seeing you focusing on that. What's going on? Do you need some help from me? Is there some type of resources you're not looking at? Let me help you build. Let me help you come up with some plans for yourself. Interdependence interlocks the intimacy in a relationship. So as long as we're only focusing on self in a relationship and begin looking at our mate like they ain't all that and I'm better than them because I got this and I got that, we, just, we begin to destroy the relationship. Does that make sense? So it's very important, people. When you come into a relationship and you're starting to build something with someone, it's all well and fine and beautiful to do. However, it is vitally important that you focus on the fact that you also have to build a certain type of basically accountability markers in your relationship with your lover. Because as long as you sit back and say, well, he's got great potential. Listen, he's got all this potential. And you sit back and you're just waiting for him to just build into the potential on his own. Maybe he needs you for that. Ever thought about that? Ever thought that maybe I'm in his life to help him to light that fire under him? Yes, women, we, be, we bring life to our men. And as, as much as we want to act like, well, we don't do anything and he's all accomplished. Even if you got a man, it's all accomplished. There are certain things you bring to the table to make him even better as a man. And this is what I keep telling ladies and keep inspiring you to think about. Just because you're accomplished and you got all your shit don't make you better than him. Just because, and see, when she posted that the man was living at home with his mama he, she expected everybody to be like, well, he's a piece of shit. And da, da, da. You don't know that man's circumstance. How do you know if he's at home because he's got to help his mother with her health? You don't know the circumstance. So stop making yourselves better than you are because you think, well, I ain't going to ever be with a man living at home with his mama. You don't know that. And it doesn't make him a sorry ass man because he is. You don't know the whole story. All I'm saying is there are men that still live in the basement at home with their mama and they're really not doing what they need to do, but you came into their life for a reason. 
in you coming into their life, that's a part of your, your part of the relationship. Listen, people, you are in a relationship, okay? It's not all about you. Yes, you've accomplished some things. Yes, you're bomb. Yes, you're doing everything great. Yes, you're all that in a bowl of grits. But what good are you if you're not inspiring the man to be the best version of himself? You feel what I'm saying? You're coming to the table with something. So what are you coming to the table to do? So when you sit before a man and say, hey, baby, I'm all yours and all this other stuff. And then you begin to grow in your own self you know, worth and value and you start to do your thing and you're looking behind him and he's behind and you just like, hmm, whatever. I don't care if he's behind. I'm not, I'm not helping him. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And then you start to get frustrated because you're like, you're still not doing what you need to do. You need to help the man. <laughs> if you decided to partner choice, this man in your life, it comes a point where you got to start to set some mile markers just like you do for yourself. Well, now, after a while, if I'm not going to start doing some shit to make myself and my life better, then what good am I in a man's life? We always want to look down our nose at men. Or they're not this good. They don't do this. They're not this wonderful and this and that. Okay, I get that part. And maybe he's not at his full potential. But we bring life to a man. Period. That's just hands down. And so if you bringing something to, to the table, like, number one, encouragement. What are you doing to help him to be a better version of himself? Not for you, but for him. Are you doing that? Interdependence requires us to build on something more than just all about self. Because if you want to be all about self, be by your damn self. You feel what I'm saying? If you want a relationship, you want something to really build and do something well with this relationship then you've got to humble yourself as a woman. I don't care what he comes to the table with because you don't know the whole story. Like I said, just because a man is at home with his mama don't mean that he's taking care of his mom or I'm sorry, don't mean that she's taking care of him. Maybe he's taking care of her because of health issues. You don't know the circumstance. So don't look down your nose too much, honey, because you never know if you got to move at home with your mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know. So we need to stop getting into these ruts of thinking that, oh, I can do what I want to do and be with who I want to be with and he ain't going to be doing this and I'm not settling. Let me tell you something. It's not always about settling people. Sometimes it's where you, you, when you met them, they were eye to eye with you on where you were at at the time you met them. But as you began to grow and do certain things, you started to lose each other's momentum because now he's not growing. But that means that something is lacking in him that you in turn should be inspiring in him not get not get all catty and think you're all that but start to say well you know what what's some of the things you're wanting to do let's let's look at some things let's sit down babe and talk about some things you're trying to do and accomplish sometimes it takes us to have a conversation sometimes it takes us to start to get inspired through each other and learning them we're so tired. I mean, how are we in relationships and all we do is spend a lot of time uh, judging our mate? But well, he's not this. He's not that. Perhaps maybe we need to start to bring life to our mate. Bring life to our lovers. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you share this video because somebody needs to hear it. Not only share the video, but also tag your friends, tag your people. They need to hear this because a lot of people are getting in this rut of believing that they're settling and it's not about settling. This is stuff that's always talked. A lot of words are being used in the community, in our community, matter of fact. And people are using the words and they're not really realizing that those words have impact on what we think and how we feel in our lives. When we say we're settling for someone, we're acting as though we're better than them or we're acting as though that person doesn't have any type of value or worth. That makes us what? Judgmental, don't it? So we got to be careful what we say in relationships. We have to start sitting back and saying, hold on. I need to be a little more mindful of what I need to do to make sure that I don't get so over the top of myself because I'm making all these accomplishments and have all these things that I'm better than them. When you come to the table in a relationship, you're supposed to be coming with something. What are you coming with? Really, real talk. What do you bring into the relationship? If you're not there to bring anything, then you shouldn't be in one. I'm just saying. 
make sure you share this video. I'm out of here, guys, but I will be on later. But like I'm saying, if you want a really wholesome, dynamic, beautiful relationship, you have to stop thinking, I settled for somebody. It's not necessarily that you settled for them. It may just be that when you met them, you were eye to eye and your growth maybe took a growth spurt. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes with you, when you have kids and you put some pants on your children and the next thing you know, a couple days later, you're like, uh, why are those like high, water, high waters on you? What's going on? Well, they had a growth spurt, right? Sometimes in life we have growth spurts and we can find ourselves transcending into a whole new level of ourself. Beautiful thing. But your mate may not have gotten there yet. Your mate may not have transcended yet. So if they haven't transcended yet, we have to be patient and we also have to stop ourselves and our own focus and say, hold on, I'm interdependent with my lover. So I want to make sure he or she is good. Are you good? What do you need from me? What can I bring to you? What, what can we do and work on together? Because I don't want to leave you out here. Because as soon as you leave your mate, out there and there's a your growth is here and his growth is here and you begin to look down your nose at him the relationship is done it's over over i'm here to tell you honey there is no more relationship it's done so with that said listen to what i'm telling you don't get so high and on the high water that you're all that because you're doing so many great things and you're doing this and you're doing that stop and listen to yourself hold on a minute Maybe I need to be patient. Maybe I need to see what the level of growth they even have. Do they have some vision? Do they have something that they're good at? What can I help to inspire them with? This is what we come to the table with as women. We are, uh, we are able to bring life to a man. Trust me. Take that to the bank and cash it. We can bring life to them as long as we stop getting on this high horse and thinking, well, I have a job, I have a house, I have a car, I have this, I have that, I have a degree, I have this, I have that, I got my own, my own bank account. Okay, and? <laughs> but you ain't got no man, though. So what good is it? <laughs> You're out here sexually frustrated and you don't have a man, but you got things. And after a while, you'll be looking around like, damn, ain't no man around now. Because... You get to a point where you think you're better than in these relationships. And once you get to that point of thinking you're better than, you lose them. I'm just saying. Hey, you guys make sure to share this video. Also, follow my um, blog on WordPress. It's called In The Know. N-T-H-E-K-N-O-W. Make sure you follow that blog because I'm always writing something. And then also I have a... <laughs> youtube channel go over there at carla nicole wisdom channel and make sure to subscribe i'm going to be really putting my energy into that as well but make sure you share this video because somebody needs to hear it okay guys i'm out of here this is carla nicole i'm signing off best kept bye guys